Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. This movie is trash. Lucky for me, Santa came this year and gave me this wonderful DVD, The Long Haul. Whoa. So obviously I watched the movie and I was expecting it to be bad. I actually made a video about this reacting to the trailer and I predicted that it was going to be bad. And I stated that if this movie was any good, then I'd take the blame for it. Well, guess what? This movie is terrible. It is not good in any way. And I'm telling you why. It sucks. And I'll just make this clear. You can't say I'm not a Dire Wimpy Kid fan or I don't know the books. I own all the movies and all the books. So that should be proof right there. And I actually have a Dire Wimpy Kid collection video, so if you want to check it out, you can. Now let's go. First, I don't think that whatever the Greg's name is, what is his name? Jason Drucker? He was not a good replacement. How is he in middle school? He looks like he's in fourth grade. Okay, so then we have Manny. He has nothing to do. He just kind of sits back there, cries, wins that pig, and does that dramatic ending, which I don't know if that's supposed to make you cry. Actually, it was kind of stupid. Then you got the dad, which is the most typical dad in any movie ever. He was terrible, he was not funny, and he did the cliche movie dad. Or listen to your mother, son, or whatever they say. So stupid. I'm sad to, to, to leave, but uh... Well, we're not. Alright, then we get to the mom, and she seems like she's the only actor in this movie that's actually trying. She actually puts a little effort into this. She's the only one, still. So if you like her character, you're not gonna like any of the rest. She seems like she's the only good replacement from the last movies. Actually, she's so close. How about you just get the old actor? Like, what was the point of even replacing her? Or the dad? I only know the mom from Batgirl and Batman and Robin. Yeah, not really the best film. Oh, I just wanted to show you this behind the scenes. I mean, just look at him. He looks depressed. I mean, I understand why. Alright, I'm actually going to put the pig before Roderick because I have something to say about him. The pig, he was fine. He's a pig. Now let's get to Charlie White and Roderick. The original Roderick was so good. He was funny and you could relate and he wasn't actually that stupid. I guess he was stupid that he couldn't spell loaded diaper correctly, but he had common sense to know certain things. This Roderick is as stupid as a rock. There's one scene when they're playing this game about like who did what or confess or whatever and they start saying the things Roderick did and he's like, Oh, I did that! I did that! It's like this game was made for me! Are you a Dumbo? Are you stupid? This new Roderick making him so dumb. He has no character at all besides your Dorko. Dorko. You better get us out of here, Dorko. You better fix this mess, old Dorko. Oh, I'm telling mom. Hey! And this really bothered me. Like, why does he keep saying he wants to be a musician, 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 and fixing his van? Like, that's all he said throughout the whole movie. He wants to fix his van and be a musician, or he is a musician. I don't really know, but it's annoying. I'm a musician. Hey, babe, I'm a musician. And then they do this horrible, the CGI puke, the CGI mouse. It looks really, really cheap. Did they put two seconds in that CG? Why is there even CG in this movie? Why do you have to see the like the puke land on the fat guy's face? Just like disgusting. The only funny part is when that guy's coming onto like that gravitron, not alien abduction gravitron, and he's like climbing on. I mean, I thought that was kind of funny. It got like a chuckle, but it wasn't a laugh. <laughs> and oh, there is so much hotels in this movie. Driving hotel, driving hotel, driving hotel, driving gaming hotel, driving a gaming hotel. I was hoping that there would be something good in this movie. And the only thing I found good was that guy going on the Gravitron. That's pretty sad. The other films were like based in reality, kind of. I mean, yeah, they were reality based. The ending of this film, just him flying off on a boat and chasing down the hill. Whoa! He's like flying into the pool. It's so stupid. It's not even funny. It's just like, Wah! it's 
it's like they try to make action packed for the kids, and they try to like lead into the next one. The like, next time we're taking an airplane, I don't know if they're doing a sequel. If they are, I will not be checking that one out. Actually, I probably will because Santa got me this one. He'll probably give me the next one. Let's hope. Actually, I hope he doesn't. I don't know what they were thinking about making this. I hated this movie. There's no good parts besides that one thing, and they try to modernize it with like this stupid technology with phones. And I didn't, oh, I forgot the meme. I forgot the meme. Diaper hands. Diaper hands. You heard me right. Diaper hands. That's a meme that just gets blown up. He's diaper hands for life. Branded as diaper hands for life. I, I just don't even want to get into that. And then uh, and then he wants to go to like this gaming place because let's get diggy with it. Or whatever that guy says, there's like a gamer dude on YouTube, and he's like playing games, and they want to see him, and then he like joins in, he starts dabbing. Oh my god, just me saying that makes me cringe. Th that was an hour and 31 minutes, I'll never get back. What a terrible movie. And to Santa, you can take this. We have a celebrity!